Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to consider a typical example of continuous filling process in PLC and explain how latching and interlocking can be applied in this type of a problem statement. I have already covered videos of latching and interlocking uh, previously, so in case you haven't watched those videos, please do watch it. That will give you a fair bit of idea to get started with these type of examples. At the first place, let us look take a look at the example over here that is given. So they've asked us uh, a problem to solve it and draw the ladder diagram for it. At the first place, whenever this uh, statement is given, just read it point by point and try to achieve it according to that. So they've given us a start the conveyor when the start button is momentarily pushed. So whenever a start button is pressed, what happens is that the conveyor should start rotating for that the motor should start running and stop the conveyor whenever the stop button is momentarily pressed. At any point of time, if the stop button is pressed, consequently the entire uh, process should come to an halt that is the motor should stop rotating the conveyor should not move and uh, the entire process stops energize the run status light when the process is operating so once I start the process immediately the run status light there is a light that is uh, given for uh, the run status to be indicated so that should be turned on immediately once I press the start push button switch energize the standby status light when the process is stopped so at any point of time if uh, it is stopped because of the stop push button or any other reasons then what should happen is that there is a standby status light that is indicated over here that is also useful for the photosensor as well as we go ahead you will be able to understand that so once that is done stop the conveyor when the right edge of the box is first sensed by the photosensor that is once the conveyor starts running the right edge of the box will also start moving isn't it so the photosensor will come at the vicinity of right edge of the box consequently what should happen is that the photosensor should get activated and um, the sensing of the photosensor will take place and the photosensor will actually go high from low state so uh, why is this very important so this is important where it indicates at this point of time the substances that are there should start flowing up so with the box in position so the box is in position now and the conveyor is stopped open the solenoid valve i'll be opening the solenoid valve in this particular fashion allow the box to fill and uh, once the filling is done filling should stop when the level sensor goes through so once there is a level sensor as well so once the entire filling takes place there will be a limit for the box to take the quantities isn't it so once it stops consequently what should happen the level sensor should turn on and consequently a light is given for it energize the light that is full light is basically for the level sensor when the box is full so once the box is full the light should turn on for the level switch and uh, the full light should this light should continuously be energized until the box is moved from this vicinity till it goes out of this zone and then this light will turn off so this is how we have to read the problem statement whenever it is given and uh, the process is very simple guys so how do we uh, draw the ladder diagram for that it's very simple let's take a look before that, uh, let us take a look into the process again. So the conveyor starts um, rotating and the box comes in position and the photo sensor will get activated at uh, the right edge of the box. And once that is done, the solenoid valve will open and the substances will flow. And uh, once it is full, this will be indicated uh, by the level switch over here, which turns its color. And this will be glowing up to the point where this box goes out of the vicinity of the entire process so this is how uh, we need to get the ladder logic done so let's go to uh, the ladder diagram port. all right for your reference I've just uh, placed this uh, over here so that you can refer to this uh, and uh, correlate with the ladder diagram so how does the ladder diagram look like it looks like this I will be uh, drawing it right away in this particular fashion and I'll start explaining now so over here if you carefully observe we have start and stop push buttons an indicator run light for uh, starting process uh, standby light whenever it comes to an halt uh, it should be indicated a solenoid valve over here uh, for the solenoid valve to open for this particular scenario and uh, a level sensor switch a level switch is indicated as level and consequently a photo sensor is indicated as photo over here these are uh, basically five different trunks that are used and these are the contacts and um, uh, 
once this is done we have uh, all of them indicated the motor is uh, indicated over here so when the motor is rotating it will be uh, indicated over here so how do we analyze this type of so ladder diagram looks like this but we need to prove that this is the right ladder diagram isn't it so how do we prove that it's very simple now let us look into the process again and correlate with the ladder diagram now, uh, now initially one important observation this entire thing that is entire rung is actually in green so initially the system will be in standby mode that it the entire process is at halt and nothing has started now when i press the start push button consequently what happens the start push button over here consequently the rung gets the contact get and Energized, the run gets energized and over here uh, the run uh, gets energized and it has been indicated with a light so the light starts glowing once the system is actually running since the same address is used over here as well this contact also gets energized according to the concept of latching and as a result what happens is that this gets de-energized because of the fact that uh, it was normally closed initially and once energy is given to it it becomes open circuit and the system no longer remains in standby mode it remains in run mode over here now so once this is done what happens run is where all run is there again we have to check that so here again run is there so i am actually energizing this contact as well and uh, the entire run gets energized because photo was already uh, in normally closed uh, position as a result the motor starts rotating this entire rung is energized because the run got energized as a result the motor starts rotating over here we have another uh, contact of run because same address is used this will also be energized and consequently the run gets energized up till this point because now photo sensor is not activated and it acts as open circuit so the solenoid is not yet activated now the conveyor starts moving because the motor is started rotating the conveyor starts moving and the box also starts moving and it comes to this point as indicated in our animation video over there so once it comes to this point what happens the photo sensor will actually sense it isn't it so when the photo sensor senses it it becomes equal to high so now the photo sensor gets activated now once the photo sensor is activated where all photo sensor is actually used if you carefully observe the photo sensor is used here as well so this gets energized and this gets energized and the solenoid gets activated now once the solenoid gets activated what i told you the solenoid valve opens and the substance starts filling up isn't it so as a result the solenoid valve is open now at this point in time consequently the photo sensor that was high over here this becomes equal to uh, dn the open circuit condition this is because previously if you observe it was green and uh, because of normally closed contact since it is energized it acts as open circuit as a result it will be de-energized and the circuit gets open circuited because of the fact that the photo sensor is open circuited so as a result the motor stops rotating now and the conveyor also stops uh, so since the motor is stopped the conveyor stops and the box is at standstill position now now the substance starts flowing into the box and the box starts filling at some point of time it will uh, be full isn't it and that will be indicated by level switch so once the level switch is indicated so that means it goes to high state so now let us energize the level switch and consequently uh, the rung gets energized and uh, the full uh, status becomes energized and we have the full uh, contact over here as well energized because of the fact that the latching concept takes place because the same address is used over here as well as a result this also gets energized so we have the light that is required for that particular status to be indicated so the full light uh, is actually glowing now sensor uh, of uh, the full light is indicated we have uh, two contacts uh, normally closed contacts isn't it so the level was in energized and the full sensor also was energized now in this scenario as a result this becomes open contact because initially it was closed and uh, once this is open circuited the supply is cut off and the solenoid valve actually uh, which was open becomes closed again and as a result the substances will stop flowing at that point in time now once that is done there is another contact with the same address of full isn't it so the full which was energized over here again energizes over here as well and immediately what happens 
because of full being energized here the current starts flowing through this path isn't it so again the motor starts rotating once the motor starts rotating the conveyor starts moving and consequently the box starts moving and once the box starts moving out of the vicinity of the photosensor what happens again photosensor will go to low state that is it will be de-energized consequently what will happen the this contact gets de-energized and acts as open circuit consequently the light stops glowing for the full status light and the process repeats again so this is how we have to analyze the entire flow step by step uh, looking at from where the address goes to and where the contacts get energized uh, so as a whole this is how we'll have to analyze these type of uh, I hope you were able to understand this concept in this video in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video meet you guys in another video thank you